Hi, my name is Alan Martin. I'm coming to you from Jubilee RV Center in Camelot, British Columbia. Today we're going to be talking about the Wildcat Max Lite 265 BHX. This is one of my favorite trailers because perfect for the family. Fairly lightweight, but very, very well built. Let's go around and show you all some of the great features here. So at the front of the trailer, uh, we've got the power tongue jack. It does have an illumination here on the front to make it a little bit easier to hook up. Uh, two 20 pound propane tanks with the option of going to two thirties if you want to. And there's room for up to two six volt batteries up here in the front. One of the other great features, it does have a battery shut off switch as well. So awesome when you're not using your trailer, you flick that off and now there's no draw on the batteries whatsoever. Slam latch doors uh, added for 2018 here. Last year these were just a key, so much, much better. And uh, they also have the magnetic holders. There's also a plug-in down at the front here for your ZAMP solar system so that you can plug in a solar panel outside and uh, set it out in the sun. If you look in through there, you're going to see there's lots and lots of storage and lighting, plus they've uh, nicely set up all the jacks and uh, jack handles and everything on the side. We have a uh, power awning on this uh, unit um, with the uh, nice drip rail along the side, LED lighting up underneath here and also an additional LED light outside. You can choose to have one or the other on, it's up to you. Um, one of the great features here on the Wildcat Max, we have a nice entry grab handle and a three-step entry. Uh, we also have a garbage can scenario where uh, we'll show you from the inside, but this just allows you to remove the garbage can through this doorway to take it out. So very, very convenient feature, uh, just making things a little bit cleaner inside the trailer as well. Outside speakers, uh, so you can have your entertainment outside. You can sw switch, select which zones you'd like the audio to be coming from. Uh, there's also a cable outlet here, so this allows you to put a TV outside if you want to, and power supply here as well. Um, this one will have a 30,000 BTU furnace, so lots of heat uh, capacity, um, and that's pretty much it. The other great feature here, this one also has a black tank flush. This is a second door now with a second set of steps down here. And this allows you to access the bathroom if you'd like as well. <clears throat> At the back of the trailer, um, the main feature back here is the fact that you do have a uh, ladder to access the roof. And all the Wildcat Max lights are pre-wired for a rear backup camera should you want to add that. We have a outside shower here. Uh, and we also have our power connections. Uh, so this is a, be a 30 amp connection here. Inlet for your wow. inlet for your satellite and cable. So you can notice that they are two separate connections, depending on uh, what you happen to have available. This particular trailer, because this is a bunk model, does have an additional storage door back here. And look at all that extra storage. It's really quite awesome. Uh, this is where you would hook up your. Uh, your gray and black water uh, connections. Uh, this one does have two gray tanks, so speaking of the tanks, two 32 gallon gray tanks, a 32 gallon black tank, uh, and the fresh water tank is 61 gallons in total capacity, including your uh, hot water tank. Um, the slide construction is really good. Uh, we have, it's all block foam insulation uh, with aluminum construction, and even the sidewalls of your uh, slide are also made that way. Really good slide seals all the way around there. And again, now we're just back to the front with the front baggage door. One other thing I'll point out is you do have uh, jacks on all four corners of this trailer. I think we've talked about everything on the outside of this Wildcat Max 265. But let's go inside and see the rest of the great features. Welcome inside the Wildcat Max uh, Lite 265 BHX. What, again, one of my favorite fa family trailers. Uh, very, very well built, beautiful construction. Some of the things that I didn't mention on the outside, this does have a two inch wall construction throughout. And this particular trailer, though it is an option, does have the thermal pane windows. I've got two with thermal pane windows in stock right now. Uh, excellent uh, for your winter camping needs. Speaking of winter camping, uh, if we look down here, you're gonna see there's two additional switches. If you fire those on, that's actually heating all of your tanks. So you've got a tank uh, heater for every tank in the trailer, uh, in addition to the fact that it's heated from the furnace. So uh, furnace heating, 30,000 BTUs, lots of heat. Um, speaking of switch gear, up here uh, we have all of the switch gear that for your entry lights and things like that. For example, if I hit this one switch, it turns off all the main lights uh, as you walk in. So uh, it gives you an instant illumination as you first walk into the trailer. 
As we go towards the bedroom here, uh, the bedroom is uh, very nicely laid out. This is for mom and dad up here, obviously. Uh, grandma and grandpa, whoever it might be. But this does have a 60 by 80 queen. And if we pull the uh, mattress cover back here, you're going to see that it says bamboo on the uh, on the mattress. And that's because it is. It's a bamboo finish, making it very breathable, very co uh, cool for uh, uh, summertime use. And uh, if we just lift the uh, bed up here, you're going to see you have really good storage. The gas charge shocks under here that will stay uh, up when when you uh, are putting stuff away. Uh, really good storage on each side. There's overhead storage and then there's also uh, the hanging closets. Okay, so lots of good there. There's also uh, power supplies on both sides and over here on this side of the trailer we do have a USB port as well. So there's a dual USB port. You can charge your phones even from the battery. So really cool features there. Um, coming back to uh, the kitchen area, uh, I'm going to come back underneath here. We do have two drawers down here. These are uh, really big. They're for your pots and pans and things like that. Uh, you also have a really good cutlery drawer up here. Uh, very good construction on there. Um, and then there's lots of storage uh, down underneath here. You could put a second garbage can. And the reason I say second, if you remember from outside, uh, I showed you the garbage can. That's what this hole is for. So you can throw your garbage in there and uh, get rid of it really cleanly and easily. Um, in here, you've got your large sink. They, I can see that they winterized it already. So that's what the paint fluid is, folks. Nothing to worry about there. Uh, and this sink is uh, made from a special material that allows you to put a 500 degree pan in there and it's not gonna melt the material. So really, really good stuff there. Um, this one does have the glass uh, cover for the uh, for the stove top obviously giving you better working area but you can just flip this back when you're ready to use it and it exposes the three burner range down below it has the large uh, 22 inch oven obviously excellent if you're going to cook a small roast or, or a, a bird um, so you get that extra extra features you do have the six cubic foot uh, refrigerator here from Dometic and then um, as we come to the back, this does have a really big pantry and these uh, shelves are removable. You could put a cross member in here for a hanging closet, use it, use it as dual purpose. It also gives you a really good spot to put shoes and things like that at the bottom. All right, so now we're entering the bathroom. As I come in here, I've got really, really good lighting. We have uh, two switches in here. They allow you to turn the lights on and off individually. Um, it also has a high capacity vent fan up here in the ceiling and there's an air conditioning duct in here as well. So this area will stay cool. It's not gonna be a hot spot in the trailer. Um, the uh, bathroom is set up in such a way that you have easy access into the uh, tub area here. And uh, the porcelain toilet down here is also very good. Um, lots of uh, cabinet space we have our medicine cabinet with lots and lots of room in it and we also have uh, additional storage down here so uh, all that stuff really good and they, they don't skimp anywhere all of the uh, cabinets uh, do utilize the uh, residential grade hidden hinges including these ones down here so every cabinet in the trailer is going to have that feature the uh, bunk area is really well laid out these are double sized bunks um, there's a power outlet and a USB port set up in each one of these bunks and there's lighting in both bunks so there's really good setup there and also now when I need to access the the top bunk we do have a ladder it's integrated right into the trailer making it much easier to access the top bunk u-shaped dinette nice and big I can sit all the way around on this one uh, the way they've set the legs up, they're not really interfering with uh, with where I'm going to sit. I can get right over to the side here before I even start to run into a leg. So you can get the family in and around here very, very easily. Uh, again, really good overhead lighting throughout. Now we're coming over to the tri-fold couch. And I love these couches because what they offer is a very, very easy way to add extra sleeping that's extremely comfortable. You just pull this up, bring these legs out. Over it comes and there's just one more movement and you've got a full bed. And look, I'll just lay down on here just to give you an idea of how much room you really have. So this is a full 74 inch bed and uh, suits me very, very well. And again, it goes away just as easily as it came out. Awesome. So now, I think we've more or less talked about it, but the only thing I want to show here is 
a lot of people say, well, man, I can't really use the TV. It's not in the right spot. But it's, it really is quite in a good spot because it folds out and comes over to the side. So now when I'm sitting here enjoying a beverage at the end of the day, the TV is at a perfect viewing angle for me. All right, there's one little feature that I thought we'd show here just before we leave the trailer. And I brought the slide in now so you can see that I can access the entire trailer with the slide in. And that's a, you know, that's a hard, hard thing to find. Sometimes you can't get in, you can't get by, you can't get to your refrigerator. Here, you can access the entire trailer. Just one more great feature on this 265 BHX. Folks, this has been the Wildcat 265 BHX. My name's Alan Martin. Come to Jubilee RV for all your best deals.